If you are a Christian man, or any man for that matter, who struggles with the sin of looking at pornography, you likely fight your battle online. Most pornography these days is found on websites, on apps, in online discussion forums, and in other places on the internet. To stay clear of porn, you likely guard your steps online. You, you try to avoid going online to sin. But one thing to remember about lust is that it can strike you offline too. The devil, as far as I know, has no preference when it comes to tempting you and me to fall into sexual sin. He is a multi-channel menace. I learned this firsthand one day, a while ago, while I was out shopping. I was standing in the checkout line at Bulk Barn. That's a local bulk retailer. I had a bag of wine gums in my hand. I was minding my own business when I noticed a vision of loveliness standing in front of me. Now, I knew better than to gawk. I knew better than to stand there lusting, but I still looked a second time. And I lingered longer than I should. That lady left the store. I also eventually left the store, but I then spent the entire day defeated, mad at myself for having looked when I should have looked away. I spent the day asking God to forgive me. What I saw in the lineup was not pornographic, but it did tempt me to go home and look at things that are pornographic. I didn't look at anything by the way, but I was tempted to. The person standing in line was innocent, but I let the sight of her stir up desires in me that were far from innocent. So here I am telling you about it. I am today's object lesson. I learned to take heed to what Peter warns me to do. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Peter warns me to be vigilant while out and about. Why? Because I have an adversary. Now notice that he is not the adversary or an adversary. He is your adversary. He is my adversary. And he goes wherever I go. If I walk through the doors of the bulk barn, I should expect my adversary to walk in with me. If I stand in line to buy something, I should expect my adversary to put a flesh and blood sexual temptation right there in front of me, uninvited in broad daylight. What is his purpose in doing so? My destruction. Peter warns me to be vigilant where my adversary is concerned. I am literally to stay awake, to be vigilant. I'm to be alert, to be watchful, so that I see my adversary when he comes. The key lesson I learned on that occasion is that I have an offline enemy who has legs. <laughs> he follows me where I go. I have my electronic devices, my desktop, my laptop, my phone, locked down against pornography. I can't visit pornographic sites Anytime I view something online that's inappropriate, my accountability partner finds out. So tempting me online is not that effective, but offline is another matter. I have to be vigilant when I am out and about in public. My adversary can tempt me sexually while I'm standing in line to buy a bag of wine gums. Now I know for next time.